And the recent migrant surge is having an impact on border imports and exports, as well as on cargo coming to the border from southern Mexico as well. This is due to operations in different cargo businesses being suspended. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Eriberto Perez has this story. The maquiladora industry on the border is being affected after different cargo services have been temporarily suspended due to the migrant surge. And now Mexican leaders ask for a solution to return to regular operations. La, la, industria, la industria maquiladora no, no aguanta. No aguanta uno, ni dos, ni tres días porque... The vice president of the Mexican Chamber of Industry on the border said the maquiladora industry cannot keep up with these suspensions neither one, two or three days. Cargo exports and imports have been directly impacted by the migrant surge. Less merge has crossed this week. This comes along with problems with the Mexican aduanas, which are not operating properly either. Que le, que los mismos trenes no quieren pasar porque hay una, una cuestión migratoria y no quieren van a parar. This week, Ferromex, the company in charge of all train transports, announced the suspension of a total of 60 trains in Mexico. They have seen an increase of migrants traveling on top of them. Ferromex also said they don't want to risk their lives of traveling migrants. These three factors are affecting maquiladoras on our border. According to Salayandia, out of all the border cities, Juarez has the most maquilas. And Salayandia added, it is unfortunate that neither Mexico or the U.S. have a strict migratory policy to alleviate current and future migrant searches on the border. Reporting from Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Mexican leaders also saying another issue is that Mexico does not know how many migrants are currently in the country or how many are making their way to the U.S.-Mexico border.